message is what brings us together today. That scene gets me every fucking time, am I right? Princess Bride. Well, hello there. I want to talk about real relationship rites of passage. When one is thinking about relationships and how relationships grow and develop, one probably thinks of a number of different rites of passage that two people have to go through together in order to kind of get to a place where they're like, yeah, we're together officially. You start out just dating and then before you know it, you're like using somebody else's toothbrush and that's pretty gross. But how did you get there? That doesn't just happen overnight. There's a lot of weird, awkward stuff that you have to get through in order to get to that place. Not that like frou-frou, first time he meets your parents, first time you hang out with his friends, first time you guys go on vacation together stuff. I'm talking about like the nitty gritty gross weird awkward stuff that real relationships are built on. The first time that you get stupid, bad, stupid, gross, pukey, drunk with your significant other. <laughs> it isn't until someone's holding your hair back while you like slur and stumble, I love you so much and you're like crying but you don't know why. At that point you realize, wow, he must really like me. Yay! The first time that you wake up in the morning next to him and you have just drooled everywhere. It's like on the pillows, on the sheets, it's on him. You've got like a little like dried up drool puddle here. Oh my god, I'm a disgusting human being. Please still love me. At least that means that you're getting a good night's sleep though. That means you're having like a really deep, safe, comfy slumber with that person. That's a good thing, right? Yeah, that's good. The first time you take a dump at his place. It's a really stressful experience. You're like in the bathroom and you've been in there for a little while and you know that he knows that you're not peeing because it's taking too long and you're gonna have to walk out and like both of you know that you just dropped a deuce and you're not gonna say anything about it. There's a certain point with someone where you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to do it. My body needs to evacuate some, some stuff. That's a fucking rite of passage. The first time that you guys fool around and your legs aren't perfect, silky smooth. Either you forgot or you just decided, hey, I, I don't feel like it and it's way too much trouble and he's gonna have to know eventually that I do in fact have hair on my legs even though up until this point I have, I have had the, the silky smooth surface of a newborn dolphin. I'm not saying like you go full Chewbacca on the guy but I'm just saying like you're a little prickle pants. I can't be bothered to shave my legs every time I fucking see you. You're gonna have to feel my prickly legs and you're gonna have to be okay with it. The first time that you put makeup on in front of him. I think this is an even bigger deal than the first time that he sees you without makeup. He is seeing the transformation. It's like Wizard of Oz, man behind the curtain stuff. This takes work. And they always freak out about eyelash curling. Guys don't get it. The first time he sees you're crazy. I'm not saying like you're crazy like you are crazy. I'm saying like your version of crazy. Like whatever you're bringing to the table. Everybody has their stuff. But we usually do a pretty good job of hiding our stuff until a certain point where we can't hide it anymore and then it it, it, it throws up all over the other person and, and they are like, whoa, I didn't know that this was hiding in there. And if he can deal with it, then that really says something about the connection that you guys have together. The first time you queef. Yeah. I don't think that really requires a whole lot of explanation. Falling in love is like a weird, awkward obstacle course that you need to get through together. And then when you get to the other side, you're like, I guess we're in love now because you've seen all of my gross, ugly, dirty parts and you seem to still like me. If you're single, aren't you glad that you don't have to go through all of this weird, awkward stuff with another human being? Thanks for tuning in. You know the drill. You know what's coming next. I'll see ya!